A woman told police she believed she was going to die after being brutally beaten, raped, and stripped of her clothing in Orlando's tourist district. It happened this morning in a field near International Drive. Police say this man is the person responsible. His name is Joseph Moore, and they describe him as a violent sexual predator. News 6's Jerry Askin joins us now live, and Jerry, the victim was able to fight her attacker and get away. Yes, thankfully, police say she was able to fight him off, and then she ran to a nearby hotel for help. You see police still on scene behind me. Um, the crime scene then actually just arrived on scene here, scene here a short time ago. Um, it all happened not too far from Busy I Drive, and now we know from police they have their guy. His name is Joseph Moore, they say, and he's now in custody facing a slew of charges. Nancy Carter and her family are in Orlando visiting for a few days, enjoying time away from snow. Go Delaware. But they were shocked this morning driving by this crime scene not far from their hotel. All we saw was a lot of police cars, but we, we were real confused about what had happened. They found out later, according to police, this man, Justin Moore, attacked a woman, then sexually battered her this morning, all happening near this wooded area not far from Busy I Drive, according to police. She was in town for business. Best thing to do, you know, walk in groups or, you know, don't walk at all at night, you know, because it's bad. I consider myself lucky, you know, but I felt sorry for her. Police saying around 3 a.m. the victim was walking back to her hotel after having a few drinks at a bar on I Drive. Investigators saying she came across three people and had a brief conversation. Two of them ended up walking away, yet one man stayed, then said he knew a shortcut to her hotel through some woods. She followed. And that's when police say Moore ended up punching her in the face, then forced her clothes off and sexually assaulted her. She told police she feared he would kill her if she refused to comply. She got away thankfully and ran to this nearby hotel resort and called police. Scary news for visitors and people who live and work nearby. Yeah, back live here. We know there's a homeless camp here in this area. You can see police coming out of these woods now. Orlando police officers after investigating. Um, the victim is okay cooperating with investigators. At last check, um, Moore is now again in custody, charged with sexual battery, attempted sexual battery, uh, kidnapping, and so much more. And coming up here on News 6 at 6 o'clock, we spoke with a worker nearby who's advising all of us not to walk here at night. Her advice coming up here on News 6 at 6. We're live in Orlando. I'm Jerry Askin. New six. Jerry, thank you.